got back down here to the storage unit literally like five minutes ago i just had to move all this stuff to clear a hole to where i'm going to put a unit that i bought today which is going to be coming up here in a minute but uh just had to move some stuff around and then i think i'm going to go peek through that you know i'm going to move it tomorrow but now i got some space and I got some flea market stuff there. Tons of empty totes again. They're everywhere. More and more and more and more and more and more. It's insane. But got a little bit of space cleared. Might have to move some other stuff too. Not exactly sure. So, yep. Might dig through a little bit of stuff in here for a little bit. Don't know yet. It's humid as hell out here. So, other than that. I don't know what to say, but, uh, yeah, cool. Just digging through this little bag here. Found a little piggy bank. Let's see if I can get this open. Can I hand it out? It? Can you see in there? Is it towards the light or not? I don't think so. Oh, there's a bunch of money in there. There we go. Looks like a bunch of quarters, dimes, nickels. There we go. Whole bunch of change. You gotta love it. Oh look, there's another one. Nickel. Perfect. So let's grab this guy out of his backpack. Feels heavy. Thought they were gonna be a 3DS and considering it's his 3DS. But no, we're gonna keep an old broken cell phone in here. Sweet. Alright guys. So I got through a little bit more. Some of the bags and a couple boxes. I am now heading out of it. I was only probably working for like 45 minutes. Got a tote there, that tote there, a flea market, and a couple things I found. Here's like a vintagey Veer Bradley purse. Another Veer Bradley purse. Veer Bradley keychain thing. A couple cell phones, watch, some Walmart gas cards. And a couple of these things. I don't know if they're worth anything. I'm gonna look them up. And then also another purse down here that I need to look up. That is a what is it? Whatever that says. From Santa Barbara. Let's see if it's worth anything. I'm knocking everything over. Oh, and this little TiVo DVR. Let's look that guy up too. And a couple cords to Nintendo's. But that's about it. I'm heading out now. And uh, next you'll see the unit that I bought today. And we are now back to uh, show you guys this unit. Here we are. Get my keys out. I hate these locks. Cylinder locks. Despise them. There we go. And I haven't touched this thing since I bought it. Here it is. I paid $275 for this guy. So there's a guitar case there. And then there's a guitar case there. I haven't even walked in this thing yet. Seeing what else I see. Some 8 tracks down there. Those are probably cassette tapes. And those containers there. There's a couple pieces of stereo equipment. There. What do we got? See if I can find a name on it. Oh, there's a flat screen TV. Can't really see it. The lighting's really bad in here. If you can read that. Morrow Airline or something like that. But. Who knows? It looks like a bed. There's some more vintagey feely stuff in here. I liked it because, like, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see with the light. No. That bag there, like, it didn't look like it was closed or anything. It doesn't feel like clothes. Just kind of, stuff just looked weird. There's some really old cases down there. You really can't see anything because the light, I'm going to try to get some more light on the situation here. Alright, now the light's on. Now we can get a little better view of things. 
So yeah, there's cases there. Those are probably eight, uh, cassettes, like I said. There's some really older cases down there. Crates of stuff. Boxes, containers. I don't know what that is, a VHS player. Just kind of, like I said, I haven't touched any of this yet. There's that flat screen TV. Here's this cassette record player. That's the brand on it. That's a really old laptop. Look at that guy. That's a laptop. But one of the re one of the one of the reasons about it, it's like this unit had a good feel about it. I don't know. But um I wanted to see if there was something in the guitar cases. So that we are about to figure out. So I just moved them out from where they were. Didn't even look at them. But they felt like they had some weight to them. And I set them down and you could hear a guitar in them. So let's open them up and see what we got. Hopefully it's something good. Come on, storage unit gods. Help me out. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything special on this one. Decent acoustic. Looks like a beginner acoustic. There's no name inside. That's that one. Alright, one more. Let's go. Boom. Oh, we got a honer. I don't know what to look it up, but this one looks in pretty decent shape. Made in Korea. I don't like that. But we'll look it up and see. And uh, hopefully there's something else hiding in here. So I just looked this guy up, the Honer. Nothing special at all. I think it'll probably be like a $30 guitar. But I mean, it's better than nothing. Maybe the Gibson Les Paul it's worth $100,000 is hiding back in the back. I kind of want to see what's in this little case here. That stuff falls. Some NFL stuff and some pictures. Anything underneath the pictures? Hmm, nothing. Well, I guess we'll just continue pushing through the unit and see what we can find. So I just pulled that bag down, which was a lot heavier than I expected. And sitting right there is an NES. So, not too shabby. Hopefully there's some NES games hiding in here. Oh, here's a camera bag. Let's see. Looks like a couple old cameras. And there's another NES. Wow. I was not expecting that. Let's uh, just tramp around in here for a minute and see what else is hiding in this little area. Oh man, camera just fell. Here's just some older, what are they? Little DVD record camera recorders. I mean, they're not bad. Some of these can bring 20, 30, 40 bucks a piece, so. I think I thought there was some old vintage -y stuff in here. I really want to see what's in those cases, and that's what I'm about to find out. Go closed for me. Some old speakers. Handy boy. Let's see, here's another camera bag. Samsonite. Let's see here. Do this with one hand. A bunch of old cell phones. And no, some more cell phones. So a bunch of really old cell phones. Interesting. Another NES. Set it with that guy. DVD VHS player. Sometimes those are worth some decent money nowadays, actually. Believe it or not. thing in cassettes. Eight tracks. Close enough. It's probably what's in the other one too. Oh man. And look at what just falls out. You'll never guess. Another NES. So now we have three. Cool. I like NESs. Oh, what do we got here? A Nintendo Wii. <laughs> A fourth <laughs> NES. This is insane. Never found this many NESs in one 
like single storage unit, but I like finding video packs, so more 8 tracks. Might have to get in the cell on 8 tracks, who knows? More 8 tracks. Holy shit. This is crazy. And four NESs. Wow. I kind of want to see what's in this case. It's felt heavy. Let's see here. Four NESs, maybe? No? Four. Vintage radios. Some of those sell. Kind of interested to see what else we pull out of here. I guess we'll find out as we go along. So guys, I'm back at the storage unit now. I had to pick up some totes. It's about more like seven in the morning or something. Heading over to go start cleaning out that unit that you just saw. So yeah, that's about it. Just had to come pick up some totes, some big ones too, uh, like those ones there. And I got some up on the truck, but just to um, tote up the clothes and some loose stuff and everything. But gonna head on over there and get working on that guy. And we're back down here. This is supposed to be climate controlled and it is probably 80 degrees in here. It's terrible. And I love it too because there's no cart. And right down by that white door is where the hallway that goes to the door is. And there's no carts. Like searched all, almost every hallway in this place. Couldn't find one. So this is going to suck. But time to get this stuff moved. So I've got all the clothes toted up. Just took a tote out. And kind of making a trash pile which is kind of like that whole area but I'm about I don't know halfway through the stuff just getting it sorted to what I'm going to take and what I'm just going to take at the dump i to do that side and the back wall nothing real crazy has come out some cool stuff a couple watches that are brand new and some uh, NASCAR memorabilia there were some vintage jackets and stuff that was in all the clothes that were piled there. So, um, yeah, just now into moving more stuff. So I just grabbed this box. It was sitting right by that light bright box in those plastic containers. And it looks to be jewelry and stuff, so I'm going to take a little peek through here and see. Hopefully there's some real gold and silver in there. That ring right there looks gold. So I'm going to take a peek at this real quick and I'll let you know. Alright, so I looked in that box. There are some gold pieces and some silver. I'll uh, show you more when I go through it. Just pulled this bag out. It looks to be completely full of PS2 games. Just PS2, Xbox, like all the way down. So it seems like it's in there. I'm not 100% sure, but... Oh, and I did find another NES. So if you count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 NESs so far. This is just weird. I don't know. I do like the jewelry though. I like that. I know I saw a gold ring that was marked 10 carat and another piece that looked like it was 14 carat. And some silver pieces, so I'll have to deal with that later. And uh, kind of want to peek through this real quick, see if there's any NES games in there. And then I need to start loading the truck and make a load. Making some progress. Got all the totes in the truck. Just pulled this Hennessy box down that was up. There. And it looks to be more jewelry. Well, that looks like it's all Avon. But I'm gonna dig through this for a second. Just dug through it real quick. Um, I didn't really see anything special, maybe some silver. But you never really know until you go through it, so that's that. And now we keep moving. Alright, so uh, kind of done here for now. Got the truck loaded. Gonna head to the storage unit and get that unloaded and then come back. This is only a few miles away, so it shouldn't take too long. First load is done. Got it loaded up. Now off to unload. Alright, load number one is complete. <clears throat> those cable boxes and stuff there then I'm just piling it back here throw bags back in the corner and I'll just fill this whole area up but now I'm off for load number two I'm hoping I can get all the stuff that I'm keeping or to go through in three loads 
and then a load to the dump, but we're gonna figure out. Um, like I said earlier, it's only like three, four miles from my facility to that one, so it's not terrible. Kind of sucks because I don't get to get a little break in the truck. I get the little bit of a break that it takes to walk, walk there, drive there and back, but I'm off to the next place. Or not the next place, back to that place. I don't know how to talk, sorry. And we're loaded with trash because the weather said it was gonna rain. That cloud doesn't look too happy, but so I decided to do trash real quick. So I'm gonna run this and then come back and get another load. All right, guys, I am tired of shit. It is hot as fuck in here, but one more load after this, and that's it. I got an auction to go to in 30 minutes at my facility, so I need to get this done. The NES count has gone up. Let's do a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight NESs so far. And those were all just strewn about everywhere. Amazing. Eight of them. But this load complete. Got to go. Okay, so I didn't uh, really do much updates. I showed you what I had left, so I moved all that, went to the auction, didn't buy anything, and just moved the rest of it. I started, what was it, like 7 this morning, and it is now 3.15, and it's about to rain. I beat the rain out. If you can see that, it looks like it's going to rain, but beat that out, so now I'm heading home. Actually, I'm going to the dump, and then heading home to get a shower and die. So, catch you guys later. All right, so I'm back down here at the storage unit and my lights just went off. Sweet. Let's go turn those on. There we go. Well, yeah, I was laying back at the storage unit, going through some of the stuff that I just moved the other day from that one that was down the hallway that's all piled up there. And I'm gonna do some of this maybe. But found a few things so far. <clears throat> some old cassette players, a couple more. And a whole bunch of cell phones, a couple of Texas instrument calculators, military stuff, an original iPod. Garmin GPS right there. This whole box is full of video games. And then some video games there. And a bunch in there. And yeah, that was just from that one bag that had a bunch of video games in it. It's so that's really it so far, but we're still just uh we're just getting started with this one, so hopefully there's a whole bunch of treasures hiding back in here. I haven't gone through the jewelry yet. It's still in my truck. I think I'm going to do that tonight and see exactly what we have in the jewelry. But, um, yeah, back to work. Come back to you in a little bit. I had to show you guys this real quick. Came out of this box, but it's like a ginormous pocket knife. It's a Battle of Gettysburg. I mean, it, there's it on top of a five gallon bucket. It looks small on camera, but the damn thing's huge. Here, I'll measure it real quick. That's 17 inches long. 16, 17 inches long. It's huge. It has now begun to rain. Like it's been doing forever. I hope you can hear me, I don't know. Working on that pile. Got a bunch of this done. <clears throat> Damn, it is pouring out there. Go over and peek at the door. Gets in here. Well, this is fun. 
We lost power. Sweet. <clears throat> fun, fun, fun. Now what? Pretty damn sure the power went out because, oh, there it comes back on and off. Yep. Power's out. Damn rainstorm. I don't know if it's like just this building, because I hear music over there, but that could just be like a Bluetooth speaker or something. My music was still working because my speaker's wireless. Doesn't have to be plugged in, but I was in the middle of going through clothes. Oh, there's the lights. Hopefully they'll stay on now. Playing right up on top. Bag full of pennies. And I think there's some more change down in there. Kind of weird why people store money, but I like it. <laughs>